This video looks at auto connecting radiators and appliances and adding connections in by hand. So here we have our pipe runs with our furthest pipe run situated underneath at low level beneath all our existing radiators. We have a function here which allows you to connect them in automatically. On the edit menu you select auto connect emitters. Any radiator within, in this case, one meter, I can bring that down to 0.5 meters. I can then select OK. And that then connects all my pipe connections. To add connections manually, what I'm going to do is add a radiator into this space here. So I've selected these stairs. Insert radiators. I'm going to select one. Search. Select the radiator. Place it on the layout. Place it in front of the window. There's my pipe run. So what I'm going to do now is insert my flows. Double click, and that connects them in. And then my returns. And with my returns, what I've got to do is click once, and I'm going to have to change my height to the 8.45 because I've got my return pipe sitting underneath it. New to that level, double click. And that then connects that tail section in. We can now calculate our pipe sizes by selecting display, calculate. That then sizes all our pipe runs. And we can see here we get the pipe sizes on each pipe as shown. This then also enables us to develop a schedule. There you can see a schedule of our pipe runs our emitters, flow pipes. Any pipe number in italics implies that it is associated with the index run. Return pipes. You can also determine the system resistance to the index run by looking at the summary. This gives you the pipe number indexes to emitter number one in this case. If you're having trouble locating emitter number one, so let's say you're on a very large layout and you're on the inappropriate floor, what you can do is go to view, select item and select emitter, typing in the number. Select and that then takes you to the appropriate emitter, which in this case is the index run, which we did earlier on. So once you've got your pipe run set up, you can calculate and determine the index run.